hey hello everyone welcome to this a new series of sessions uh, we are going to talk about uh, data fundamentals as part of this series and this is going to be uh, some very very short videos and we will cover uh, most of the building blocks uh, uh, required for building any data ecosystem uh, so the topic for today is uh, different types of data sources right? we are going to look at uh, some of the data sources from where we can ingest the data into various systems like uh, the data warehouse the lake house or the data lake so what are the different types of data what are the different sources right uh, you might be aware that there are three main categories of data right the structured data semi-structured data and unstructured data right so so what is structured data a uh, structured data is anything that can be uh, represented in a tabular form like a rows and columns let's say you have an excel sheet or a csv sheet and you have various attributes and you have different rows uh, wherein you fill in the values of those attributes or you have a a, a, a typical rdbms uh, system where you have various tables so this is known as the structured data so in the late 90s or the early 2000s when um, many enterprises started building data warehouses uh, this were the only sources which uh, from where they would ingest the data and the most popular of uh, these were obviously the, uh, the the csv files most of the systems would send the data in csv files or they would give a direct access or read only access to their oltp database systems then we have the semi-structured data uh, semi-structured data are like json or xml uh, the, these are the this is uh, uh, these are the systems which can send you the data where some of the attributes can be optional right to give an example let's say we are talking about a, a product file let's say you are getting a product file and there are two different types of products okay two completely different types of products uh, uh, for this example let's say you have one product as a chair and an another is any uh, any any perishable food item like a milk packet right a chair and a milk packet Right. Some of the attributes would be common uh, for these two, uh, like the manufacturer or uh, the weight or the size, right? But then would be some attributes which are very specific to one of them. Uh, like to give an example, the expiry date of a milk packet, okay? Or the ingredients, right? These are only related to the milk packet. So when you're getting the data, you won't find these attributes for the chair product, right? So these attributes will not be present at all in the source systems. So uh, had, had this been a very structured data, right, you would still get those attributes with null values in that. But when it comes to semi-structured data, right, uh, you don't really need to have these attributes. They can, you know, completely ignore those attributes. So this is why a semi-structured data is used so that you get a lot of flexibility. Okay. And the third is the most popular one in today's world, that is the unstructured data, right? With all these social media platforms, a lot of unstructured data is being generated, right? Uh, let's say, let's say YouTube, right? Let's say you are watching this video. If you like this, maybe you will add some comments. That is an unstructured data, okay? Uh, this can be used. Maybe I can pull up the feed of all my videos and do some analytics on top of that. So this, this is where the unstructured data is used. Our Twitter is another example. A lot of tweets are cr created um, based on, you know, a daily day to day scenario. There are trending topics. You can pull all this data, all this unstructured comments and do some analytics on top of it. Then we have the logs data. Um, a lot of machines out there or the web clicks, right, have started creating logs. Um, all these digital logs, right, these can be analyzed. A lot of information can be extracted from this. Uh, this category falls into uh, you know the logs category right to give an example again all the web clicks that is happening on your website right all these logs are captured and um, a lot of analytics can be done on top of these logs then we have the iot data uh, with uh, so many new things happening around the iot world right uh, nowadays everyone has a, a smartphone <clears throat> everyone has a smartwatch and then uh, this watch would generate a lot of data right to give an example let's say uh, if you have your heartbeats uh, monitoring continuously uh, you know uh, on uh, throughout the day a lot of logs uh, a lot of data is created from from this device uh, similarly if you have the steps tracker uh, some of the smartwatches will uh, give you a breakdown 
at you know not just hourly or uh, minute basis at the second uh, basis also uh, so a lot of data is started being generated by iot devices uh, there are sensors uh, used in um, multiple uh, different different uh, domains different different scenarios where we have started collecting data so iot is another uh, a very important critical source which has started contributing a lot of data in today's world again this is one of those modern data sources i would say traditionally there has always been structured data a bit of semi structured data then with social media unstructured data but nowadays logs and iot is also there and then finally uh, there are a lot of cloud storages also so already there are enterprises who have started uploading their data onto cloud storages it can be aws s3 it can be google cloud storage it can be azure's uh, you know blob storage so even uh, now enterprises have started sharing the data from their cloud storages so all these right are high level categories of sources that can send you the data and then this data would be ingested transformed and loaded in either into a warehouse lake or the you know uh, the latest trend is the lake house right but uh, in this topic i just wanted to cover the high level of what are the different types of sources that would be sending you the data so yeah that uh, that's it for today's uh, today's lecture in our next topics we'll go uh, into some of the other areas like what are different storages what are the different types of computes and we'll look at a lot of other uh, data fundamentals okay uh, thanks for listening to me